the starter position, first of all, in order to be a starter, you have to have been trained as a stroke and turn, and you've had to have done that for a year, and then you have to go and become certified, which means you have to go to the trainings that take place before the season begins um, to be starter certified. So that's the first thing to know. It's not one of the jobs that you can simply sign up to do. You actually have to have training before you do that. Um, the thing to know about starter is we always say it's actually the best job on deck. And the reason for that is that you have um, a perfect position to see all of the swimmers. The starter stands next to the ref and they actually do exactly what the job sounds like, which is they start the swimmers. What I have to do is to give all the swimmers a fair and good start way to think about the position is the ref is in charge of the entire meet and he makes sure of the pacing and how everything's going. He blows his whistle to notify the swimmers to get in the pool. He blows his whistle to notify the swimmers to get out or that it's time to swim. But then once he has blown the whistle, he actually will do a hand signal that lets me know or any starter know that it's now the meet has been turned over to me. Once he's turned it over to me, I take an opportunity to make sure that all of the swimmers are lined up properly. And so I'm making sure that their toes are not over the ledge. I'm making sure that they are stationary, that they're paying attention, and that they're ready to swim. When they're ready to swim, and when I see they're ready and they're standing still. Basically, I have a little microphone, and I speak into the microphone and I say, I blow the horn and the race starts. And when that beep goes off, there's also a light that goes off on the starting machine. As soon as the swimmers either see the light or hear the beep, they jump into the pool. And that's kind of the responsibility of the starter. Um, another thing that I do is I make sure when the swimmers are swimming, sometimes I'll do what are called sweeps, which means when the swimmers come into the wall, I have a sheet of paper and I mark to see who came in first, second, third, fourth, fifth so that if there's any discrepancy with the time, I can say what I actually saw to help to solve if there are any problems that happen there. In order to be a starter, you have to go for certification from MCSL, which is the Montgomery County Swim League. Trainings happen, I think they start about six weeks before swim season starts. Sometimes they're on Saturdays or Sundays, and it's usually, I wanna say maybe two or three hours for the initial certification and then to be recertified, that's usually a little bit less. I think it's the best job on deck because you have, you've got a front row seat. Usually you're even under an umbrella. You know, you don't have the same responsibilities that the ref has. You know, the ref, you know, has to, you know, recognize if somebody has disqualified themselves. Or, you know, the only thing I have to do sometimes is at the beginning of the meet, I could talk to the timers and make sure that they're sure of their jobs. But pretty much all I'm doing is making sure that the swimmers are ready to swim and I'm just getting them going. The biggest thing with it is just getting in a rhythm because the swimmers come to recognize that the starters have a certain rhythm. And um, it's actually a super easy job. So I would say do it.